Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a core banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm kicking off my series of interviews with luxury custom home builders. And our first video is going to be Robert Custom Homes. And we have Mike Robert himself, the owner, inside waiting to do an interview with me. So let's get to it. All right, today we have a special treat for you. We are with Mike Robert with Robert Custom Homes and we're coming to you from the Bell Oaks 2021 Parade of Homes. They have a stunning home and we're gonna show you that a little bit later. But first, Mike, I appreciate you doing this video with us. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your company? Sure, thanks Jason. I'm glad you came out today. And no obviously a little quiet time during the parade mm -hmm. is, is pretty uh, unusual, but it's good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was, I, I was grew up, born in Maine, grew up in New England, and uh, it, like most Texans, got here as quick as I could, right? There you go. But I uh, served our country for four years back in the 80s and cool. moved here in 1986. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started building homes in 1998. So we've been in business 23 years now, and. Uh, true custom from start to finish. Great. Um, what I'm going to be doing is uh, just kind of asking those generic questions that most folks will typically come through the door and ask. I'm an efficiency nut, so I find doing this medium will be able to save a lot of people a lot of time so they can watch this video on YouTube. Wonderful. And not have to waste a lot of your time and a lot of their time asking the same questions I'm going to be asking well, you Well, sure, now. sure. Um, first question uh, is, what type of home warranty do you provide? Well, we provide the standard, basically what they call a 210 warranty in Texas. We've got kind of one year, if you will, bumper to bumper. It's, it's anything, you know, a piece of trim, millwork, little paint, whatever. I mean, those things get covered no matter what in the first year. Mm -hmm. Then two years, what they call of the 210, is systems. That's going to be all of your electrical in your mechanical type items, your air conditioning and things like that, right? Water heaters, all that's two years. And then 10 years on the structure. That's gonna be your, your inside framing and uh, basically everything under roof, if you will. So, and of course the foundation. Sweet. Um, do you have uh, like your own set of floor plans that you already have? Um, some people, some builders have their own designated floor plans and they can do full custom. Right. Do you allow people to bring in their own floor plans if they already have them. Sure, a couple different questions there, right? Mm -hmm. I've never built the same house twice, so didn't even answer a question you asked, but so we are true custom. Okay. So I have a ton of floor plans we could probably use for inspiration, mm -hmm. but I would not do the same house twice. Gotcha. Um, and then the second part of your question was, um, can people bring their own plans to me? I've built plans from, not kidding, probably a hundred different plan designers and architects. So absolutely, if you've just got that favorite house you have to have, we can get you a bid and we can build that home. Good deal. So, if they're they've got a loose idea, do you have your own in-house architect or? I outsource, and the reason I outsource is we could bring someone in-house. But this is what I found with you know my third decade in the business now is. Everybody has a flavor they like. Or, mm -hmm. you know, some people like the flavor of this industrial house. Some still love Mediterranean. Some like modern farmhouse and things like that, or the, or the real super modern stuff. You know, and I and I've got different designers that kind of live in that genre. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. and, and if it was me, I'd want that mechanic of my house who sleeps visually where I want to be doing my house. Gotcha. So if you're telling me you want a farmhouse, I know which one of the three folks I'm going to go to. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me you want, you know, hard over hill country, you know, typical metal roof and the rock look and all that, I know where to go for that. If you want real modern, that's a different guy I use. But I want that person with the most experience in your field because that helps extract what people are looking, you know, they're thinking but can't quite get it out. And someone who doesn't live there mentally might not be able to, f might not be able to uh, feel that and bring that to mm -hmm. the paper. But someone that's there all the time has probably either done it before or a version of, and you and when you think like that, it makes the energy a lot better and everything come together a little quicker and easier. A smart move. Uh, I know. I know. Going through the process, it is a very intimate process between you and the homeowner, and sometimes, and probably a lot of the times, the homeowner all of a sudden has a change of an idea halfway through the build process. Um, how would the would y'all transition if we already have plans and the owner decides where they don't go a little bit different, different direction? Do y'all allow that and how would that process look like? Well, that's a tough question because depending on how you're really defining that. If we're talking about just a change order, like we're going to add some electrical plugs or move a light fixture, that's 
those are easy things in the custom mm -hmm. world, right? We, we don't, we have a critical path, but our processes aren't as defined as maybe in the production world where they've got to stamp out 600 houses a week or 500 houses a month or whatever they sell, right? We're, I do 12 or 14 a year. I'm intimately involved with every one of my clients. I know birthdays, kids. We did a slab pour this morning and they have three daughters and we had pink hard hats for all three daughters. Nice. You don't get that many other places. Mm -hmm. so, but, so going back to your question, if we're moving walls or adding concrete, that's a really different deal. And, and, and I'm going to just be honest as I can. The old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. Mm -hmm. We're plan longer and build shorter, so to speak. I, I, you know, paper's not free, free, but it's relatively free. We start doing big change orders or like additions in the middle of construction. Those are time and it just very, very, very costly. But I think we do enough great communication on the front end where we've ironed out all those things mostly. I mean, I, I, yeah, there's like, like fixtures and rope lights sometimes and things mm -hmm. like that, but it's usually all finishes and maybe a slight interior wall, but I've literally in my career never had to add a bedroom midway yeah. or add whatever. You know, if we can carve attic space out, that's easy. We mm -hmm. add a door up, up, on the, up on the second floor somewhere that's semi-hidden or not hidden, and uh, then we can deck everything off and you know, create a huge attic space that we didn't know existed under the roof line until we actually frame it. Mm -hmm. But from a, a movement standpoint, we really, it'd be very, very difficult to do that. Gotcha. So. Sounds great. So basically, it depends. Yeah. But well, yeah, it, yeah. We would do anything somebody asked. I mean, mm -hmm. we've but we've just literally, in, you know, coming up on a thousand houses now, never had to stop, reconfigure, pour more concrete, right. and add. So. Oh, I know. Foundation, foundation. That that's the hard problem right. right there. Like yep. once that foundation's done. We know what the shape yeah. the house is going to be. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And it's funny you said that because you know, we, you know, I can recover from anything. Mm -hmm. Once concrete hardens, you own it, right? Exactly. And we all own it, right? I mean, I can move a stud here. I can move a window two feet. I can change the front door a little bit. But when that concrete hardens, we own that floor plan at that point. Gotcha. So. Well, um, we are experiencing a lot of folks coming from the West Coast right now. Yep. And uh, the big question I always get is, Temperature is like, oh my gosh, yes, it does get hot in Texas during the summertime. However, uh, most builder, or all builders that are new home builders, and they all do things a little bit differently to keep those energy costs down. What do you guys do to make your house as energy efficient as possible? That's another great question. Our, our primary product for that obviously is gonna be air conditioning, right, mm -hmm. in Texas, and I'll get right back to that. But really the science behind staying cool is the structure of the home. Because a good tight house doesn't bleed energy, in this case doesn't bleed your air conditioning out into 102 degree temperatures with high humidity, right? So I use only Pella windows and Pella doors. All the okay. secondary doors. Front door we can do custom wrought iron or even a Pella product as well. But generally we love our Pella product. We use the architectural and or the impervious series. Just way, way, way above builder grade. We caulk every seal on the house before we do sheetrock, before we insulate. So the house is completely caulk tight. Mm -hmm. And then of course we use spray foam insulation as our standard and that basically makes your, your igloo cooler or your Yeti cooler, mm -hmm. if you will, before you even start the energy process, that really keeps the heat from getting in to the cavity of the house. Oh. And then of course we use 16 sear train air conditioning um, throughout uh, multi-zones, multi-units, whatever it takes. I mean, most of the houses I build are big enough for at least two units, most are three units with a zone or two each. So we can really define uh, the temperature per area of the house, in particular the master suite, right? A lot of folks want to sleep a little cooler oh, yeah. and uh, don't want to heat, or in this case, cool the entire house the whole night you're sleeping. So usually the master wing is on its own unit in a row bear home for sure. Gotcha. Um, inspection process, um, what steps do y'all take throughout the different build process to uh, make sure your trades are doing things right? That's another great question. And of course, Texas is notorious would be a pretty funny word you know, out here. We can get, <laughs> especially if we're talking to an East and West Coast market, you know, crowd on, you know, on YouTube today. But, but here we are. Um, there really are no formal inspections in the county in Texas. Mm -hmm. So if you're within a city entity like we are here in Bulverde for this showcase home, there were about 13 or 14 city inspections at every level to make sure all the things were done proper to code. But one of the things that Robert Custom Homes does is we self-inspect when we're in the county. Mm -hmm. So I hire an independent third-party inspector 
to inspect my frame final, which is all the mechanicals and all, all basically the important stuff, the stuff that could really go wrong, right? Uh -huh. Fair. All the mechanicals in the structure, and then they come back and do a final walkthrough, checking all electrical currents and everything for you fit and finish. So I do two third-party inspections voluntarily. Good. That keeps me and my staff sharp. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, the mark of a of a builder isn't the build; it's really the warranty time afterwards. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to lie to you. I want to come back and be <laughs> friends and have a glass of wine, not come out and do something I should have done right the first time, uh -huh. right? Or sh or should have been caught the first time. We just there, there's no shortcuts in this business. There's one way to build a home, and that's with quality and integrity from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And I know putting all that quality and extra inspections, that takes time. It does. So from start to finish, about how long does it typically take you guys to uh, build a home? Under 5,000 feet, I'll tell you about 12 months, right? Weather pending, we had a rainy season like we had the last two mm -hmm. months, could add a few days, but about 12 months. Um, I usually over 5,000 living, and especially, and usually at that pace, there's usually a pool and or a lot of landscaping going on. I sign, we sign an 18-month contract. Gotcha. So, yeah, but we keep it pretty soon, and everything we bring in is on time. Good so. deal. Um, right now, with the climate that we're having with our industry, with prices going up, right? Um, about what stage of the process do y'all come up with a final price of the house, and with like with lumber prices escalating, all the material cost, do y'all have any type of escalation cause or just kind of explain that process? You just probably almost asked it and answered <laughs> it. You know, a lot of us got caught with these crazy lumber prices. And so what I do is I have about a 300 item spreadsheet. I'm a, I'm a, what we call a full disclosure builder. Transparency is just, it's just, I'm too old to play the shell game, mm -hmm. right? Here are the numbers here. We've got to make a stay in business. Let's do business together. So to answer the first part of your question, you know before we break ground or even move to the bank what your final price is, less any escalations, right? Gotcha. Um, and, and or allowances. Mm -hmm. Like some builders put in, you know, X dollars, including myself, we put in $25,000 for appliances. At Robert Custom Homes, see, I don't mark those up. Mm -hmm. So how fun is that? You guys can shop wherever you like and just get the price to be on time. And I've got okay. vendors. So if you just, you know, if you've got a brother-in-law or a friend or family in the business that can give you even a deeper discount, yeah. we don't mind because we don't mark those up anyway. Mm -hmm. So if I give you a twenty-five thousand dollar allowance, let's say for appliances, for example, you spend twenty-seven, you just owe me two grand more. No markup, no nothing, nothing extra. We just cover the cost. And conversely, so most builders will never tell you this: you spend twenty-three, I give you two grand back. Good or at least credit it towards tile or somewhere where you went over, right, on mm -hmm. the allowances, okay? So that's how we cover all of our allowance items. Gotcha. Um, if someone wanted to check out uh, the quality of work that you do, do you have, uh, we, I know we're at the Parade of Homes house, this house is up for sale or is it already sold? We just sold it, so okay. it, it was up for sale. Yeah, I didn't build it for someone, it was a, it was a speculative home. Well, but congratulations we, but, on selling. Thank you, yeah, we're pretty excited. Yeah, we <laughs> sold it about two weeks ago, they move in about two weeks after the show is over. Gotcha. Um, do y'all have a model home that someone can go look at? And if not, um, do we have access to like the people who've built with you before? So yes. someone wanted to walk you know, the my, product. Your, your best calling card is referrals in your business. Well, mine as well. Mm -hmm. I've got four or five clients that just literally have an open door policy with us. So, and we do have a model home on occasion, but in this market, we're selling it so fast, I can't really keep one on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I use my personal home, frankly. I okay. love showing my personal house off. Um, and then we've always got eight or nine under construction, but I see my philosophy is this, a lot of, lot of good builders out there and a lot of builders out there that can still make things look this good. Mm -hmm. I want people to come see the guts. I want you to come see the studs and the wiring and the air conditioning, how we do things differently than other builders mm -hmm. and better and tighter. You know, I want you to see the quality of the home you're buying, not just the pretty jewelry you see at the final product. Yeah. So I like people actually walking my houses that are half complete or a third complete. I, I, I do know there are some builders out there, I'm not gonna name who they are, but you kind of get the feeling they're putting lipstick on a pig and then selling it to you. Yeah, that, 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 that's a little rough for me, but, <laughs> but, but fair. But yeah, you know, there's, there's just, well, there's zero substitution for quality, Yeah. right? There's zero substitution for quality and you just gotta, in my opinion, you just have to do it right the yeah, first do it time. Right the first my time. job is so stinking difficult to keep every, all those balls in the air. Oh yeah. How, if I can't do it right the first time, how am I ever going to get back to you from a warranty perspective or a long-term relationship perspective to do it right the second mm -hmm. time? So I just, my team just is empowered 
to make decisions, and some yeah. of those are financial ones, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to changing things, to make sure it's right before we cover it up. Good deal. Um, on a follow-up note, uh, you mentioned you have builders work before. Uh, one of my plan is to uh, get those contact information from you and kind of do a secondary YouTube video following up with that because um, it sounds like Mike builds a phenomenal home and trust me when you guys see this house it is stunning um, but I want you guys to also be able to have that real review of Mike from buyers who have built with him before and trust me, I'm not going to let Mike, those interviews aren't coming back to Mike. Those are just for people who decide to use me as a real estate agent because I want you to get the most information that you can have. Um, speaking of this beautiful home, do you mind giving us a brief tour of this house, kind of showing off some of the features in it? Jason, I thought you'd never ask. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I mean touring our homes is so much fun, and I, I'm sure I've got something to say in every room. I'm not a quiet guy, as you figured out by now. Hey, but me, me and you get along just fine. We do, <laughs> but I appreciate our relationship, and uh, let's flip this over and get touring the house. Sounds good. Jason, thank All you, right, brother. Take it. Yes, sir. Hit the button. All right. Let the tour begin. Hey, Jason, we're back. We're going to take a tour of the house now. So this is our 2021 Parade of Homes in the San Antonio market in beautiful Bell Oak subdivision located in Bull Verde, Texas, to be exact. But let's start right here. We've just walked through the front door, and uh, this is the study we, uh, we put together and had a lot of fun with a local artist named Jeannie Philippus who did all the artwork for us. That's an original piece on the wall, and then an original piece she did here on the floor for us. We actually did a six-layer poured acrylic space um, that was basically the remainder of the tile. We, we, we had all the tile sized properly, full pieces in, left that rectangle, then created that wonderful art piece uh, for her to show off for the Prey to Homes. It is beautiful. Thank you. It's a lot of fun. Lots of details in there. Cool. Let's head over to the heart of the house where everybody loves seeing the kitchen, right? So we've oh. got some we've got some parade goers in the kitchen already, but but either way we can certainly talk about the kitchen itself. We've got a cool, beautiful, full Euro uh, inlaid set of cabinets where you can see how smooth the fit and finish is, everything that we've done. As you turn back this way a little bit, Jason, you can see we did a full baking center that actually rolls out, rolls in when you're finished and cleaned up, and then you can just tuck the whole thing away. So we really had a good time thinking of that. Then of course we've got Thermador's latest and greatest, the push button technology or the push handle technology so you're not fighting your freezer and fridge. Oh, and that's we, very nice. Yeah, and we did a 30 inch column for both sides. So we have 30 inches of refrigerator, 30 inches of freezer. As you turn back around, we did a full so we introduced one of the newest products that uh, Thermador has done. This is one of their latest and greatest 2021 model. It's just a beautiful 48 inch double range, of what we call a dual fuel in the industry. So it's got the gas on top, but electric for baking. A lot of the professional cooks out there really like the control and the humidity factor for an electric for baking so they don't dry out their baked goods. That is one fancy oven. Yep, and we did a, we did a Ruwadi 48 inch single vessel sink and it comes with a bunch of attachments so you've got colanders and cutting boards and everything in one big bid drying rack and we love this this has become a standard at robert mm -hmm. um, is 48 inches it also comes in 60 which is just amazing the countertops are decked in that's a newer product to the market too made by the uh, manufacturers of quartz and uh, it's just a beautiful beautiful product mm -hmm. Let's walk back over here. Yeah. We had a little fun, a lot of fun here. We've got like a little, just a little, we'll call it a coffee center, but a little, just a little extra cabinetry here. But we ran full custom cabinetry through the pantry. This is really neat. And yeah. it's kind of a drive through, right? There's no doors on this pantry. So that's why we did the formal cabinetry instead of just standard shelving. Uh, we've got an LK water system here, which fills all the kids' water bottles or water bottles those are on your way out to the house today or running around the, doing the yard where you can come in and get just a dialed in. Um, bottle of water filled so and we did a beautiful travertine top in here as well cabinetry again storage throughout just we just really tried to make it a full full array but it comes right through here mm -hmm. Jason follow me to the secondary bedrooms all right so what we have here is we did a Jack and Jill combination which is very very popular right walk-in closets throughout the house so every bedroom and a Robert house will have a walk-in closet oh that is so, so cool yep even the like I said bedroom three and bedroom two have big nice closets plenty of shelving plenty of rod space to uh hang everything uh somebody's uh 
kids could use or whoever's in the secondary bedroom. He did a beautiful Michael Edwards custom cabinetry built-in bookcase in this bedroom as well. And of course, decorated very pretty for the parade. We did a nice ceiling step, a two-tone paint, which we mimicked in the other bedroom with different colors. But what I do a little bit different in my Jack and Jill's is I go ahead and I have a separate vanity for each mm -hmm. bed. Yeah. That way they can close off the bath, still get things ready, but just step in to this space for the actual potty and then the shower. Um, again, we did extra, a very large linen in this house as well, so we've got a beautiful cabinet. Uh, that is, sorry, that's a stunning shower. I want to uh, get a good you. look at it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you've got that out too. Another standard at Robert Custom Homes, if you notice here, and you'll notice in all my bathrooms, mm -hmm. I run tile to the ceiling. Oh, that, that's usually such a really big upgrade in a production home, yeah. but oh my gosh, yeah. it always turns it, out great. It, our price point's not cheap, but it's in our price point because we just know that the maintenance starts up there from a mildew issue and, and maybe eventually mold. We hate to say that word in our industry, but all fun aside, it just, it's a cleaner presence. It just mm -hmm. looks so it much look better. Like so much more finished it just it's a common sense thing for me mm -hmm. so and again we have a beautiful uh full linen in here extra deep um uh, just beautiful michael Edwards custom cabinetry all the doors are soft closed doors Very um, nice. just done to the nines even in the secondary bedrooms and then those the baseboards that is some that's some serious baseball. Yeah, we had here. fun in here. We showed, you know, we definitely showed off a little bit for the Parade of Homes. Uh, but even with my standard houses, I'll try to make sure the baseboards are proportionate to the ceiling height. So it's a little big in here for 10 feet in the bedrooms, but out there in the kitchen and living room, as you oh, saw it, and it I'll go over again, well. well, it's 14 feet. Mm -hmm. So a 12-inch baseboard all of a sudden looks normal, gotcha. and a normal baseboard would look small. Mm -hmm. So we did 12-inch up, or excuse me, down, and in the upstairs area with a 10-foot ceiling, we did 8-inch still. So we did still did a Very beautiful nice. lead. You'll say, this is even a bigger walk-in closet than the last one mm -hmm. for bedroom number three as we kind of come into that. And we're not in the owner suite. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is what's blowing me away. It's like, man, we're not even in the owner suite. Look at the size of these yeah. closets. And then another nice deep vanity area right here. Mm -hmm. And of course, bedroom number three. You get another step up ceiling, some complimentary wall accent, in this case, ceiling accent colors, 12 inch baseboards. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, let's walk back out here and we'll talk about the other side of the, a little bit more about the kitchen and dining room combination. You know, we really wanted to make sure they blended together well. So what we did is we kind of ran a step ceiling between the two to kind of draw your eye to both areas at once, because it really is the heart of the home. And we did a uh, seven inch by quarter inch metal strap up there mm. for our first time ever doing what we would call steel uh, crown molding, if you will, it's pretty fun. Um, in this house, we did a custom wine case um, that holds about 225 bottles. But I gotta admit, it, it, you've got some tasty bourbons in there. That Eagle Rare is yeah. my favorite bang for the buck bourbon you can find. Appreciate that. When you can find it. Right. But we could custom build this and air condition them and everything to any size people want. The biggest I've built today was 3,000 bottles. Uh, my average is probably four or 500 bottles or so for most of my clients. So. So again, just the wine cellars are just one of my favorite things to do. It really sets off a true custom mark. So, and probably the, <laughs> excuse me, probably the big of right at 2,000 bottles and the smallest is, well, it might be this right here, about 200 bottles, because at that point, a lot of the coolers and refrigerators they sell will hold 140 and 150. So if it's less than that, I recommend a store-bought refrigeration versus a custom application. Gotcha. <clears throat> All right, we are now at day two of getting this video done. Uh, apologize for it. We had a lot of Parade of Home folks come through, so let's pick up where we left off. Hey guys, day two of the uh, the video tour of Robert Custom Homes 21 uh, Parade House here in beautiful Bell Oaks. But uh, we just finished talking about the amazing kitchen area, as long as as, as well as the uh, wine cellar and staging areas. Let's go through the living room and let's go take a look at the best part of the house, the master in the game room. Oh my gosh, you guys are in for a treat. Before we do, I do want to point out look at these lights up here yep all of our light wow. fixtures came from ferguson enterprises in this parade house and we had a blast picking those out and making sure they blended uh, harmoniously with the entire vibe of the house again rearranged everybody it's kind of an organic industrial vibe we've got a lot of natural wood a lot of natural elements in the house steel beams we just really tried to pull together that that rustic look but yet real clean contemporary straight lines so as you can see here the living room is just beautiful and staged very nicely for us Absolutely. again genie Jeannie Philippus's original artwork up here on the wall, a nine, a nine placement uh, 
art display and we hung it with railroad ties as you can see we put real railroad ties up there had them bent and then hung them all on cables that, so we just had a really neat application and had a, had a good time installing that uh, and of course we've had 7,000 people touch it now so some of these pieces aren't quite perfectly straight but it's all good but it's really a cool display so, all right. Want to go upstairs? Check yeah, let's go to the game room and we'll save the best for last in the master. You can take a quick peek in here. We did a really neat application for our half bath. We did a, a piece of um, cedar off of the property. So this came from the, the lot here as we pulled the cedar to get ready for the house. And we did a stone vessel sink and just did a full uh, tile wall application on the back wall. Made it look really neat. So let's head upstairs all right. and uh, we'll take a look at everything here. We sold the house about three weeks ago, so we did a natural stain on the steps because that's what the homeowner wanted. So it was kind of nice. They got in right before we stained the final stairs. And of course, now we enter the game room, right? We get three more amazing Genie Philippus pieces over here in the little sitting area. And as you come in here, we've, it's really truly the family entertainment center. We've got two beautiful 72 inch TVs side by side on separate modems. As you can see here, we can watch two different things at one time to keep the family all together. Beautiful wet bar area, gorgeous tile backsplash. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? So we've got a fridge up here, a sink, everything to keep you upstairs in the element and enjoying family time. And of course, this is gonna be the full AV closet here, the glass here on this beautiful Michael Edwards custom cabinetry. Is, that's why we've got the glass fronts and everything so we can keep all the equipment in here and still use our uh, infrared uh, remotes to get through the glass to adjust all of the, uh, the attachments and things. And of course, you can see the beautiful view. You wanna step out on the balcony? Yeah, definitely. I was gonna yeah. say, the balcony, uh, we do have some, it's perfect if you wanna have a, uh, a cigar or some folks still smoke cigarettes but yep. this is a perfect place for that for absolutely poker yeah, night. yeah not, like not, promo not, pr not promoting either of those but just sharing that it's yep. a possibility it's a but possibility we, yes. and keeping the industrial vibe if you look down we actually did a, a lightweight concrete finish mm -hmm. really cool um black metal yeah. tile or metal tile forgive me standing seam metal roof but you can see now from the outside how well all the elements pull together with the uh, natural beams weathering and everything the crowd starting to come in this morning you can see that that's fun mm -hmm. but look how far over here jason the views are when oh, the God. sky is clear you've got 30 mile vistas off the front and that's why we took advantage of it even though it's on the front of the home mm -hmm. we still want to showcase all that an individual lot has to offer so we had a great time you see other parade houses are here yep. the neighborhood looks so pretty right now and it's just been a great great um eight nine day run now so now, we've got we're currently out at bell oaks because that's where the parade of homes at correct mike can build pretty much anywhere in this region Mike. Correct. correct probably anything within about 70 or 80 miles of the greater san antonio area it's a little hard to get up in austin but as far as north dripping springs um, area is certainly very doable to the south as far as divine and then to the oh. west easily kerrville um, it's just easy to get to those places for my trades. Because what makes, in my opinion, when we talk about true custom, a true custom builder really prides himself on having an incredible trade base. Mm, yes. And my trades have all been with me seven to 10 years. Plus my rookie is one of my two painters mm -hmm. and he's been with me four years. Four. And that's the, that's the newest trade I have working. So plumbing, air conditioning, and all those other types of trades are all 12 to 20 year relationships. Plus we're now in bedroom number four, the upstairs mm -hmm. bedroom. And then of course, take a look at this bathroom up here too. It's really cool. We did a full tile double wall in here. So it runs the entire shower and pulls it right through to the wall with the, uh, the beautiful uh, open leg. You often don't see people putting vanity. this level of detail in the upstairs game room bathroom, but this is breathtaking. And even though it's decorated for the parade, Jason, this is pretty much a standard finish for Robert right here. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a very normal tile for Robert, definitely an average light fixture, um, average, I wouldn't say average, there's nothing average about it, but, but our standard. standard yes. um, the only reason we have a curb here, so we are upstairs and had to build a, a nice Schluter uh, waterproof pan. We have a lifetime waterproofing guarantee on our showers. Not many people can say that. Um, well past the 210 warranty, we have a full, fully backed by Schluter Systems um, waterproofing guarantee, which is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So. Anyways, you want to head down to the master? Let's head, on down. Let's head down let's to the see, master. Let's see this little tiny master bathroom that you guys have down <laughs> That's there. funny. Come on down. <laughs> you can see another very unique um, light fixture here as we head back down the stairs. Beautiful cable railing a little bit we did. And then another beautiful Genie Philippus art piece. 
but let's head downstairs and we'll we'll take a right and we'll go into the master and show you what we can do uh, when we really have fun in a master oh, suite I scenario. So as you walk in, the first thing you'll notice is the incredible ceiling. We have a 12-foot plate and we have a four-tier wave within a step up as you can look straight up it's just incredible and we our sheet rocker took two weeks to smooth out those four waves and create that look for us but that, it's beautiful some talent right there yeah i've got a great great sheet rocker has been with me over 15 years um you can see more of genie's original art this, this is a sneaky need that people don't realize being able to go out on your back porch especially for coffee time absolutely like, okay i can go out here and uh, see that. Yeah, and the back, the back porch was over, we didn't even mention it before, but mm -hmm. it's over 720 square feet, and it steps down to just a few feet away to also have that incredible fire pit outside area. But as you can enjoy the master, you can see the steps a little bit better from maybe this angle, but that takes your eyes from there straight down, and we've got a beautiful, linear fireplace built in and as you as you'll see momentarily it's a little off centered on the wall because it's centered on the tub oh, so you when go. you're in the tub you can still see through to the bedroom and vice versa so it's just a really cool touch this year um, changes multiple colors on the stones with led lights but it is true gas and will literally heat the entire master right. suite as you step in here, we did a bamboo look tile and it almost feels like a spa. We run floor yes, to ceiling, but in this wild. case, ran it right through the vanity area as well. So it really shows out well. And you can see our air tub. Completely seamless walking in. Absolutely. We like to call that a forever at home, Jason. <laughs> All of my downstairs bathrooms, if you decided to buy a Robert home, you can get in and out of if you're incapacitated in some fashion yeah. with either a walker or even a wheelchair someday, you can still use your Robert home. Look at that. It's beautiful. Lines up very well through there, doesn't it? Yes, it sure does. You can kind of visualize some soft music with the uh, whole house surround sound and a glass of wine. I mean, don't want to get out of the tub, right? Mm -hmm. So then you come over here and we've got the dual master vanities, as you can see. We did, we did a surface mount vessel type sink. So we lowered the cabinets three and a half inches so the sink lips were still the same height. We did wall mounted faucets to give it some really cool pop. Oh, just noticed that. Yep, those are, those are wall mounted. And then of course we've got a beautiful silhouette uh, shade to cover this during the times that you need it covered. But we wanted to leave it open and bring as much natural light into the bathroom as, as we could as well. We'll start with the small closet first. How's that small sound? Small closet. This, this, this would be the small closet. Uh, but we have two incredible master closet sides, his and hers. We'll uh, definitely say this is probably the his side because it is mm -hmm. the smaller of the two. But again, more Michael Edwards custom cabinetry to put a full linen inside the closet so it keeps the house very neat and tidy looking in the bathroom in particular, right? And then, of course, you can see our seasonal pull downs and things. I'll show you more of that in the large closet. But this is a very substantial um, secondary closet within the master suite. And we'll kind of come over here now to the... Uh, the grand closet and most of the women during the parade have claimed it is theirs though we've had a couple guys step up and go this would be my side yes again it has another full linen closet wow. and uh and a sundry's closet thing yeah it's very so wide just isn't take it take this in like this is insane yeah my trim carpenter is just incredible this is all trim carpenter set for boot shelves shoe shoe cell shelves excuse me and then say that five times fast <laughs> and then in the corners we even did, kept the uh usable so you can put purses or folding clothes or sweaters or seasonal items in there but this is part of the fun right here jason we install in all robert homes the uh the pull down shelf so your closet doesn't have a seasonal section mm -hmm. you can use it year round see so you can get oh to those gosh, i've never seen that before yeah so you can get to those shirts You're pants slacks right accent. all there but and we've had a lot of folks in here that are roughly five feet tall a lot of women mm -hmm. are five or five one well usually when you're closet you're barefoot well now they can reach everything and then they, of course they self-retract so which is beautiful have, yeah you don't have to find that little hook thing to get to your off-season clothes exactly and, and have to take them to the individual you can bring them all down look at it and send it back up we do want to thank Saks fifth avenue for some of the boxes decorations and in particular the garment bags so we could show them off in our parade of homes mm -hmm. but we had a really good time putting this closet together and uh that pretty well wraps up the tour of our house where well, we can walk back towards the yeah, living room if you like back. but uh, we can say goodbye but mm -hmm. i want to thank you for allowing us to have this wonderful video tour jason and hopefully it'll uh, inspire some of your your viewers and some of your future clients to build with robert custom homes um one question i did forget to ask uh -huh. in the interview um what advice do you have for anybody who is just starting this process you know it can the old adage, how do you eat an elephant? It can seem just overwhelming. Just take one bite at a time. Take one step at a time. Find a builder you like and trust. 
build that relationship. You're going to be together quite some time. The process right now for a true custom home is probably closer to two years, two and a quarter years, because you're going to be six, seven months in planning, maybe eight months, then depending on the size of the home, anywhere from probably 10 months to 18 months to build the home, depending on the size of the home. So you're going to have a long relationship with that person. Make sure you like them. You've checked their references. You know that they do good work. You've seen their product. Make sure they give you a tour of things that are in progress. Not just the finished ones, right? We used the lipstick, I think, uh, mm -hmm. scenario the other day yeah. on the front end of just this video. But, doesn't but, mean it's good. but walk through it. Mm -hmm. Find one at frame stage. Find one at raw sheetrock stage. So you can see the quality of the finishes and the mechanicals before it's all covered up. I just implore you to do that because you're going to probably spend one of the largest investments of your life, if not the largest investment, mm -hmm. in an upper end custom home. Make sure you find the right relationship. There you go. Good to end on. Good. Thank you. How are you? Wouldn't do this video tour justice if I didn't come out and show you this outdoor entertainment area. It is beautiful. Plenty of space. They do have the composite wood, so you don't have to worry about the wood warping in the Texas summer heat. But lots of place for entertaining, and this is definitely an entertainment style house. And uh, they do have a built in grill area and refrigerator door to the patio from both the dining room area, the main living area and the bedroom i mean this this is very well thought out i absolutely love it well i found that information from robert custom homes very informative and i hope you did too and if you did make sure you like and subscribe to my channel i am a real estate agent trying to grow my business and the way i'm trying to do it is by getting you guys the most information available so you can make the best decision you can for you and your family all right that's gonna wrap it up for the day and i will talk to you soon take care now bye